Oh, you like those thighs, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're not gonna believe what I just did. That was super awkward. Well, you are, because you just heard me say it when I was like, oh, you like those thighs, huh? Uh, Fulton, I did some kind of cringy, awkward stuff. I was making a joke, because I had the camera angle right here, and I was like, oh, you like those thighs, huh? And uh, I heard somebody throwing the trash can out, and I look over, and your, <laughs> your neighbor's standing there. I'm like, oh, that's awkward. Oh, that's awkward. It's so cringy. Yeah, that, that gentleman right there. Awkwardly literally just heard me say, oh, you like those thighs. It's so weird. Donuts? You got a lot of donuts. Donuts. Okay, we're getting here. We, Sarah really wanted to go take a, a gander. Oh my gosh. I know it's a road. Look. It's our house. You want to know where this goes? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's Steven. Steven's here, Avery. Steven's here, Avery. I'm about to clip that thing. All right, we're good. Oh, wow, look at that. Steven. Wow, that is Steven right there. Wow, Sarah, wow, they've done a... They've done, something. they've done some stuff to the house. Sarah comes up here and checks. That's where our shower's gonna be. That's our shower. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah like, wanted to come up here and take a gander at the house. She's the one that actually gives the people the checks from the bank. So she wants to make sure that work's actually getting done on a weekly basis, which is pretty smart. So this is pretty much what we got going on here. I didn't know this is what it looks like underneath the foundation of the, one of these houses. Yes, Avery. I thought it was just like straight rebar. I was completely wrong. You're digging? Do you find some dirt? I find treasure. You're finding treasure? Yeah. What kind of treasure? These are rocks. And some rocks? Oh, you're gonna make some treasure? You're gonna bury it? Okay. You wanna go look at the house? Or you wanna play in the dirt? I'll take that as a dirt. So, since we came down over here and uh, taken a gander at it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just so you guys have an update at the same time as I'm getting one as well. So, retaining wall, that's pretty clear. We, we made that very clear that we have a retaining wall. Now, this is, when it's standing up here, it looks like a, a big house, but it's not all house. Like, that right there is a carport, so, that's not a house, as you can tell. This right here, as you guys can see, that's this is a porch, okay? And on the front's a porch. That little uh, that section in the middle, like right there, that's the house. That's pretty much the deal. I'm gonna go down here and take our gander because I it's kind of interesting to see what's underneath your house. Whoa. Oh, Sarah, we have stairs. Yeah, see, like this is the, the back deck. That's what I mean. Ah, this is gonna be my first time walking down these stairs. It is, it's it's pretty windy through here today here in Texas. Alright, here we go. I feel like stairs. All right, yeah, there we go. Stairs up to the garage. That's the garage right there. All right, so this is what it looks like underneath your house if you're living in Texas. There's like cables coming through. Look at this. Huh. All right, there you go. This is what's going on here. So that is going to be the. Uh, I should watch when I'm stepping there. This is the shower, just right there, that's the shower. I would assume this is probably the drain. Hopefully uh, here in about four or five months or however long it takes, I can be like, hey guys, remember that time we were standing in the shower together? This is that time and moment. This is when we're standing in the shower, literally. I would assume that's probably the drain, but there you go. This is my, my shower. If I, were, if I were to take a guess, I guess the workers are doing a good job on drinking a little bit of Corona Extra and a little bit of Bud Light. I guess we'll hope that they're doing a pretty good job. Staying really hydrated. They're staying really, they're staying hydrated. <laughs> All right, well, that's pretty much the deal. There we go. Avery, you like the dirt? Look at that dirt. Look at that dirt, Avery. Look at that dirt mountain. Go get it. Yep, just go ahead and play in the dirt. Okay, let's hop out of here. It's kind of warm, a little tad warm. Look what's here. Look at that thing. That was dropped off. Maybe I can, we can put it down somewhere real quick. Hold on. Oh yeah. So you guys remember probably, gosh dang, I think it was, might've been February, maybe January, January, February, March, somewhere around there, maybe December. I don't know. Anyway, last time, last year when I went on that like 
insane, I call it insane, I, what, I don't remember. Anyway, spot and stock, I'll just, how about I roll a clip? Oh! All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Stop, 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 stop. Look at him, look at him, look at him, boys. Dropped him, dropped him, dropped him. Come on, let's go. Oh, he's doing the game. Woo! Run, Peggy, run! Woo! Okay, so that, that clip was actually this pig. Just got it back. I had somebody clean it up for me. And I think he did a fantastic job. That looks really good. Yeah, the gentleman, he charged, uh, I think it was 60 bucks. Well worth it to me. Well worth it, because he did a phenomenal job. The top, I didn't realize the top was broken off like that too. I mean, look at these cutters. Those are some juicy looking cutters right there. Just imagine that thing getting your leg. But, don't have to worry about that anymore. Gosh, dang, that is a beautiful looking one. Look at that thing. Okay, well, enough with that. Oh, let's see here, I don't want to turn on the light. I always do that. So last week I actually asked you guys, would you like me to build a ghillie suit? And there was a very large amount of you guys that said yes. As I know, online, there's nothing but like trash ones. If you were to buy one, they're not very good. But I could show you how to make a very good one. So a lot of you were like, yes. I'm actually just coming out here to check and see if Ryan took this head that was in here. And if the image was very blown out there for a second, I'm very sorry. Nope, still in there. So the one that's down inside there, that one's actually bigger than the one inside. And that one's from the other night. All right, so here's the pants. I showed you guys these the other day. Uh, right now they're completely dry. I'm going to have Sarah, hopefully she can get this thing stitched up for me today and we can continue on with what we need to do. But I had a very good thought. I'm going to be building a pistol slash rifle range and I've been thinking about how I can get a silhouette type target, not steel, not steel, like a very easy homemade um, stand. So we might be doing that as well. Okay. Avery is asleep, so Sarah and I are going to be able to maybe, possibly, I say Sarah and I, I don't mean Sarah and I, I mean Sarah, but she is the queen of sewing. Last time we had to do this by hand, what I mean by hand, I'm literally not kidding, because we didn't have a sewing machine. Now we have one, but she's going to do this right here, you got to sew the outside edges, I already put shoe goo down, it's already glued. This is a canvas, I'm going to show you guys here that in a little bit when I come back, but hopefully the missus can get this done right here for me. She has made it very aware that she has never sewed anything on pants. Sewed, sewn, sewn, sewn anything on pants. So there's that. I don't know what any of this means. She's, she's got this. Got faith in her. Good God. I don't know how this is gonna happen, Drew. I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna lie, you might have to take this to an actual sewing person. Because I don't know how I'm gonna get the rest of your pants under here. You got this. I got faith. Mm. That didn't seem like it's working too well, huh? I'm trying to get it clamped down. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Okay, here it goes. We gotta do a little. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, there you go. Stitch it on there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, sir. Get it. Get it. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna leave you be with just doing this, okay? I gotta I gotta run. No, just you're good. You got this? I've gotta go to the store and grab some more stuff for this project. Just you'll be fine. Yeah or nay? Going good? Oh, you split my pants open. Yeah, they're pretty easy to split. Oh, I know. I've ripped out so many crotches. Oh, yeah, you split them wide open. It'd be easy to sew that way, I guess. I oh, mean. Oh, yeah, see, so you're doing a great job. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See that? That's perfect. Just keep going. I can't believe Avery's still asleep. She played hard. So while we were gone at the store, Sarah really did actually get these finished. Well, kind of. Um, as you guys can tell, she had to literally cut them open right here with some scissors. With some scissors? Scissors? 
That was weird. Okay, anyway. <laughs> and uh, there we go. See, I got shoe goo underneath here, so they were already in place. And then she stitched it all the way around. And then we're gonna hit it with some more shoe goo here in a second. But until then, she's gotta knock that out, which is maybe like another, I don't know, however long it takes to sew that, I have no idea. Gonna go to the fridge. Yeah. She's sewing me back up, folks. She's sewing me back up. Avery, you're okay. You're okay. Avery, you wanna say hello? You wanna say hello? Are you in a bad mood, baby girl? You wanna say hi? Yes? Yeah? Want some crackers? Can daddy have one? Thank you. One? No? Bad mood? Okay. Oh, look at that. Just bounce it on my finger to get the halfway point. It's called a lazy man's way of uh, getting sticks cut. Yeah. So these are pretty pretty nifty. Just took uh, one, I think this is one and a half, one and a quarter, no, it's one and a quarter uh, PVC. And then this is, don't recall. Anyway, since I wood, just pounded it down in there and it fit just perfectly. If you guys are wondering what kind of wood that is, I don't, seriously don't remember. Probably maybe it's on this tag. Mmm, half inch comb prime eight. That makes, I guess, there you go. Anyway, it's really cheap. I think I may, maybe 10 bucks a pop per, for each stand. Okay, now let's just kind of keep rolling with it. This, we're making two right now. Oh, here's the base. So do not put glue in these ones. Do not put glue in those. As you guys can tell, just take these. Boom. Easy to transfer around. Now you got yourself a set of popsicle sticks that don't face that way. There we go. Actually, yeah, they do face that way. I'm an idiot. Anyway, there you go. Let's make sure they're straight. That one's just a tad bit cricket. And last but not least for these things, they're going to need uh, some, some cardboard, so why not some scrap? Look, you just cut it. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Take a staple gun and boom, done. Easy peasy. So easy to transport, all you're going to do is pop them jokers out. Boom, done. You cannot tell me that's not an awesome way to make pistol targets. Easy, breaks down, good to go. Now I gotta show you guys two more things. One thing I was not really expecting to show you guys, but I did go out and buy something just for it so you guys may like it. I'm gonna bring out the M24 here in a second. And then also, Sarah just finished up with the pants. Well, a very small portion of the pants. Oh, there she blows, M24, huh? Shh, be quiet, be quiet. Oh, I can see that little turd. Yeah, okay. So normally this would actually have an M3 Alpha on there. This has a Leopold Mark. Four for anybody that is new to the channel. Whoa, whoopsies. But this is an actual M24 from the Army. Serial numbered, everything is, this is all legit. That is just for anybody that's new to the channel and is wondering. This is 100% an M24. But we're gonna do something. Usually we wouldn't have these scope caps on there. Those no, never, ever, ever, ever made it. Like they would just fall off and they'd find their way pretty much. They would never find their way back. So a lot of times we do this, this stuff right here. This is like, I don't know. Strange stuff. I'll sh I'll show you in a second. This stuff's good because it doesn't ruin anything. All right. It's like that tape you put on your your skin. Um, should I take this cap off? I'll take the cap off just for you guys. So you don't want to go up and down. You want to go side to side. If that makes any sense, it's about to make some sense. If you guys really want to get crazy, you guys can wrap your barrel in this if you don't want to spray paint it. But I don't think it lasts that long and it kind of looks cheesy. But this black rings. That's a no go anywhere in this world or should be at least so out the gate just do one one wrap okay give yourself some access don't let it touch the barrel though it's not touching the barrel leave that little dangly dinger just chilling dangly dinger yeah that 
and then cut two smaller pieces as you guys can see here and I got to kind of adjust it you're gonna make it into like a cat eye all you got to do is kind of take the pieces move it up and then connect it onto itself and then take this bigger piece and then wrap it around that's how easy it is but we gotta it's got to get adjusted quite a bit okay so she is pretty good I mean that's I think that looks pretty good don't you guys yeah that looks pretty good there's nothing perfectly round in nature there's nothing that's actually black and stuff for stuff that's like burned maybe some crows i'm talking about actually like vegetation and stuff there's nothing round there's nothing black there's nothing straight uh, there's a lot of random stuff that i'm not going to really go over in too detail this is all stuff you can find online i've got a phone call coming in though let's see let's see let's see so i'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like hopefully i can get the uh I'm trying to see if i can get the uh, yeah if i can get the camera here which is perfect let's see come on will it work oh come on camera come on camera there we go there we go oh it's kind of showing up anyway through my eye i'm telling you guys right now there's no black anywhere it's perfectly fine it, it looks fine if you guys want to do that it's it's not something that you guys need to do because you guys essentially aren't really hunting anybody i guess if you guys play airsoft that might be kind of neat but that's a legit thing you can do i wouldn't recommend doing it to the back portion of the scope the front's fine that kind of tape stuff doesn't do anything you can do it to your barrels but i would rather just full-blown paint the rifle if you're gonna spend that much time putting that on just go ahead and just paint the rifle it's not gonna do anything just make sure that the wrap you put on on your scope if you do do this you can also use a piece of cardboard by the way another way is to cut out a circle of cardboard and then cut a slit in it and then put it in there and tape that on but that's for a different way it actually does also you can make it to where it fits inside of this cap there's multiple ways you can do it i just showed you guys an easy quick way i was thinking about it when i was driving yeah so I'm not, but by the way, I'm not, I'm not releasing or telling you guys any known crazy sniper secrets. This is literally stuff you can find online. So I want to make sure that everybody knows that I'm not revealing literally anything. This is just showing you guys a quick, fast, simple way to create a cat eye on the end of your, your scope. And doesn't she look beautiful? Oh, whoop. whoa, calm yourself. This right here is God's gifts to any sort of, well, just about anything. I will tell you guys right now. This was underneath this, so it's stuck, sewn up. She did a beautiful job sewing this up. This is just half of it, by the way, half of the project. So now we're gonna go through. Oh, my lands, look, you gotta sew this. Or uh, not sew it, but she'll do the sucker. Wow, what am I trying to say? Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, come out, there we go. See that? That's how you want it right there. Nice, nice and just gooey. All right, I'll do this and I'll get back to you guys here in a second. So clearly I don't really have to say anything, but that looks terrible, doesn't it? I mean, this is gonna be shiny. It's gonna it just looks, that just looks atrocious. Looks bad, right? Hmm, look at this thing. Okay, wind. Cool. Good. Um, start with the base. Okay, that looks pretty good so far, right? Eh, one sec. Oh, well, it doesn't look too much different. Still looks pretty good though. Oh, wow. Okay, so last but not even close to being least, you got jute, a lot of jute. Uh, dark, light, so you got a multiple different colors in here. Greens, tans, dark browns, okay. As you guys can tell, I went light. Once you go dark, I've said this one camo, there's a lot of camo out there that is terrible i'm talking absolutely garbage because it's always too dark once you go once you go dark you can't go back but if you go light you can always go darker which what i'm about to show you 100 not going to be today but you got this netting i'm going to let this this dry this netting goes on the back okay that attaches to that so does that so does rubber bands or zip ties and other sorts of thing like this thing is nothing more than just a base you gotta look at this this is just a base to create yourself into your surroundings say a bush a tree grass dogs you know just anything and then you got to also make veils and there's so many stuff that you guys have to literally do that i'm not going to show you guys everything because if, if you guys want to know how to do all this stuff it's kind of like a rite of passage you have to actually go and, and get selected to do this and then go and get taught by somebody but I, I don't feel like it's good for me to show you guys everything because this is kind of this right here i'm pretty positive it's on the internet everywhere but there's so much other stuff that i'm not going to show you guys because like i said it is like kind of like a rite of passage so i'm going to leave it to if you guys ever go and do this it'll be a hundred times better because you guys will learn it from like somebody that you know personally like another sniper but anyway look veils i don't really recommend having too long one of these because then it gets caught up in your bolt and it's just a big pain in the 
pain in the butt, it gets caught on everything, but you guys will have to have one of those. So anyway, look, this, this, is, this is not gonna happen all today, I can promise you, clearly. <sighs> anyway, there you go. That's, that's that for today. You gotta turn that one. Avery, turn we, the, you locked this. One. You locked this out. The other way. There you go. There we go. All right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those are those are panties. Okay. All right. Well, she knows how to. Uh, well, shouldn't it? Oh. Last but not least, you guys need to name this. Whatever the name's gonna be, plus your username will be put right there on the jaw. Look at that. You want to be next to these teeth, huh? Leave your comment down below. That is right. You guys are going to name it just like you guys have named just about everything else. I'll write your name in Sharpie and it, well, his name in Sharpie as well right on his jaw. So go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let's find out what the name is going to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's way different than fishing, hunting, shooting. Not only like anything, I just wanted to mix stuff up for you guys. You guys asked for this video. So there it is. It's going to last us probably, it's, it's probably going to take place over a series of time because this is the beginning of a very, probably five-parter, I would assume so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you guys know what's about to happen. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, you guys know the deal. Click that video right there if you're not seeing that one, then hey, click the one right below it if you haven't already. Subscribe right down there. Do it too. Let me have I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out, and I'm about to disappear. I'm about to eat an apple, actually. So, enjoy your night.